Hello everyone. During the summer, I wrote a programming language in C++ based on the book Crafting Interpreters. And in this video, I'm going to show some of the features I've added on my own. So firstly, I added anonymous functions to the language. To show you an example, let's say we want to map and square every number in a list. To do that, we can write print map lambda and if you're wondering map is not built into the language but i wrote the code for the map function in a separate file and i loaded it into the interpreter so num return num into num one two three four five semicolon and we get the result you might find it strange to see the lambda keyword in a c like syntax but i couldn't think of a better keyword for it so i went with what scheme uses next to make the language more usable i added a list data type to the language and implementing list was the most exciting part for me because it made the language feel more like a real programming language so the syntax for list is similar to that of python to create a list we can write list is equal to one two three four five print list and to access the first element we can write list of zero and to update the value of the first element we can write list of zero is equal to 100 print list and also the values inside the list can be of any type dynamic is equal to it could be a string it could be a lambda and it could also be another list and print dynamic and we can also loop through the list by writing for where i equal to zero list of i not equal to null we do not equal to null here because when the index is out of range the interpreter returns null and you can actually see it over here if the casted index is greater than the length of the list or if it's less than zero we return a null pointer and null pointer in c++ is nil in the language so if we index a list and it returns null, we know we have reached the end of it. So yeah, and we increment index by one and print list of i. And that will print all the values inside the list. And yeah, that's how lists work in the language. And I don't really know why the author has left it out in the original implementation because it was really easy to implement and also it makes the language more complete finally i made the interpreter throw warnings when there are unused variables in the local scope and to show you this feature i'll open a new file and and write a small function to say add two numbers so fun add a comma b but instead of using the parameters i'm just gonna return the sum of two random numbers and i'll call the function 10 20 and if i run this program now uh, clock try i'll get two warnings saying the variable name and that it's unused it might seem like this feature increases execution time by a lot but it's only a small addition on top of the resolver and the resolver already scans the entire code base and i should also sh show a bug in the language so to index a list uh, let's say we have a list like list is equal to 100, 200, 300, and 400. And 
to index this list, the only valid syntax in many programming languages I know is list of zero. Or, yeah, so the index should al always be of type int, but in this language, the index could be of type double. So we could say 0 0.002 and it'll and the index will get casted into int during runtime and it'll print the value at index zero and i could fix this bug but i have to change the code in a lot of places so i'm gonna leave it like that and yeah thanks for watching